Hello, my warrior. Welcome to Let's Talk About It. So today we're going to talk about why do creators create their videos around almost one person? That's all they talk about is that one particular person. Now, I do know they have videos called reactors or should I say reaction videos? Because when I first started YouTube, um, I had a couple of people, they say, you know what, you'll be so good at react reaction videos, along with that AMR, or however you say it, the silent videos where you're just listening to the noise in the background or whatever. But that's not really me. And the reason I don't like reaction videos is because you have to sit there and wait on that person if you are creating it around that person. Now, some reacting, uh, reaction videos are pretty cool because they're doing um, reality shows. They're doing, you know, different things and they're reacting to, you know, not just one person. It's probably multiple people. But I just think it's not cool when you sit there and you react to only one person. So that means I got to wait for this person to make a video. I got to find something negative about the video and I got to talk about it. That's what I think is not cool. Here in the YouTube streets, come on, find something to do. Now, they do have what they call, I'm going to say, journal journalist videos. And that's the ones where they're gossiping about what's going on in the world today with different reality, re, reality actors or, you know, mostly famous people. Um... I barely hear about none famous or it could be something that seriously happened in the world. We'll use George Foreman, for example, you know, Brianna Taylor, stuff like that. They're reacting to and that's fine. But when you're reacting to one little person and you making your money off of one person, if you're making any at all, I just think that's kind of crazy because you know what, if that person gets their act together, if there is a problem, then you know what, who are you going to react to? Then you're going to find somebody else. So then your views are going to drop and then you got to find a way to pick it up. I know a lot of, um, you know, I'm going to say big timers, you know, people who's doing really good in YouTube, they do um give a shout out to people that is low in numbers and i know if you look at my numbers right now yes i'm low in numbers but you know what my numbers come from people may look at my video and then they'll like it and they'll subscribe okay so that's where my numbers come to they subscribe no they may not hit the like button because they some people just don't hit the like button at all they just look at the video and you know what I don't even bother about that anymore because I look at the fact I do the same thing. I might be looking at people videos and I'm looking them back to back, you know, a whole bunch of people videos. I don't even put like or not. Now, if it's something real, real good, I'd say like. Now, if it's people that I do love watching, I'm going to support them regardless. I'm going to support them because you know what? They started right where I was and they grew. It may have took a long time to grow. So... I'm looking at reality. I'm going to take my time and just let it go as it go. You know, I like to put my jewelry on there, letting you know I have another thing that I'm going to start putting on there just to let people know, you know, what I like doing. YouTube to me is me, what I want to do in my life, what I enjoy doing. Yes, I do do the Let's Talk About It show. That's what we're talking about tonight. And yes, I do sometimes talk about, I've talked about Portia. I talked about Seeking Housewives. I talked about stuff in my community, you know, like kids going to school and they fighting over a dude or whatever the case may be, or two guys fighting over a girl. So yes, I do talk about a lot of different things. And I said here lately, I wanted to start talking about what's going on in the YouTube streets, what's going on in the world, so that I can kind of, you know, relate to, you know, some of the stuff that's going on. So 
that's what I enjoy talking about. But I just feel deep down inside when people want to sit there and just worry about, you know, what this person is doing. They may be on their feet one day, down and out the next day. Okay, you supposed to lift them up, not keep bringing them down. Just like I'm listening to what, um, what is her name? Monique. She's talking about people wearing slippers out. They wear house clothes. I mean, night clothes out. They're wearing, um, the, the do rags on their hair or whatever. I'm guilty. You know, I don't wear the bonnet around my head. Normally when you see something like that, you know, girlfriend is going to get that hair done. Okay. I'm trying to take my step from my house to whoever's house doing my hair or wherever we going to get my hair done. So that's the situation at this time. You know, I don't wear bonnets out. And then I do see disclosure or disclaimer, should I say. I love Tammy and I don't see her wearing it out. I see her, you know, maybe doing it on the, you know, as that's part of her thing. But I, I don't know anything. I've never seen her. I love her to death. I don't see nothing wrong with anything she does. So I can't relate. But I can relate to I see these girls walking around with these shoes on. So like I was saying, what I don't like, you know, like I said, I'm not putting Tammy out there because I love Tammy. I don't see nothing wrong with Tammy. Tammy, you know, she might wear it when she's doing her videos and stuff. Okay, whoop de doo deal. I think Monique is really, really talking about, you know, girls that I see. And trust me, when I say my children, what? They do it all the time. My girls are now wearing slides. Now, they do have those fancy slides with the little, you know, fluff balls on top of it that they may dress up a little bit. But when you're wearing your night clothes that you just went to bed in and your night shirt, come on. Now, I know back in the day when I was working from home, I would roll up out of bed with what I had on and I would start working because i didn't need to be professional you couldn't see me i was voice professional now i used to have to take my kids to school so if i don't have time to really get up because i they, they wake me up like five minutes before time to go so yes i might have my my night clothes on but i don't get out my truck at all but for is going out there and i'm gonna go to walmart to go grocery shopping or i'm gonna go to the mall come on man are you serious no way that is foolish so I understand where Monique is coming from in that situation. I get it. And I don't see nothing wrong with what she's saying. She's just trying to teach people that everyday life right now is, you know, be professional. You don't know who you're going to meet out there in the streets. You may be a person that's looking for work and you really, really need a good job and you want to make n nice money. But the first impression lasts, okay? So you make sure that you're looking good from head to toe because I'm guilty. I mean, you can look at some of my videos here. I'm guilty. And I did say I'm going to try my very best to start looking decent when I come on to my video. Now, every time I'm not going to be able to do it. But as you see today, you know, I just got a little makeup on. We're getting ready to go out to eat for dinner. So, you know, I kind of said, you know, why should I just look normal? Let me just dress myself up a little bit. That's it. Just a little bit. I have this on. And I'm just, you know, laying across, leaning across the bed in front of my closet. So if you see that jump back there, that's my closet. <laughs> but, yeah, I just think, you know, like I was saying, you know, find good content. And, I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm really not, guys. And I'm just, you know, I'm setting an example. Some of my content content I want to build up on as well. Because I just feel, you know, I've just been enjoying myself looking at these pilots. I think it's called Bounty, Bounty Hunter D and his wife and the guy Patty or something. I ended up coming across them last night. And let me tell you something. I've been watching them and I've just been cracking up. 
that's what I'm saying. I enjoy it. I see why he's at three million and some because he have you rolling. Even though deep down inside, I feel that the people that is working with him, you know what I'm saying. So it's not like it's you know new people. I don't know, but I just feel they still put on a good show. Just like TV, reality, half of the time it's a good show. But I just decided to come to y'all today with something short. Just something that was on my mind when I see how all these people sit here and they want to go off on a few people I see in the YouTube streets. And I'm like, you know, build your stuff around something else. Don't have it just solely built around somebody. Now, it may be something crazy a person did, stupid or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you want to talk about them today and then you don't talk about them no more, then that's fine. Because you're just doing a reaction video on what that person did. Okay. Fine. But if every time I look at your channel, it's the same person that you're talking about and you're not giving constructive criticism. You just, oh, that B this, that, you know, F that person and all that. That's, that's just stupid to me. It's crazy. And like I said, I don't care if anybody come on my channel and say anything about me. What do 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 do? Like they used to say back in the day, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I don't care about that. You know, my videos are not the best in the world, but I do have people watching and they end up subscribing. So that means it's something that I'm doing somebody is liking. So I'm not coming down on anyone. I'm just saying I feel that we need to make up our own content, create our own content up, enjoy ourselves. And cut down on talking about so many people about so many different crazy things. So, it was short. I was right to the point. <laughs> In and out. My eyes look like they red as could be. i just been so tired lately. I'm telling you, for the last two days, I've been drained. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's the weather's changing, what's what. But I've been beat. But I'm still trying to come here and I'm still trying to give y'all content to look at. And, you know, a lot of my stuff, I want people to bust out laughing because I think it's funny. So, if you enjoyed watching this video with Miss Trezina, give it a big thumbs up. If you are not a warrior yet, what you waiting on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then hit that notification button to be notified of all videos along with share this video. Let them know what your girl is doing. Thanks for watching. Later.